Imagine a world where your thoughts are no longer private, where your deepest ideas, your unspoken words, even the flickers of imagination in your mind can be translated into text without you ever saying a word. This world isn't science fiction anymore. Mark Zuckerberg's latest breakthrough in neurotechnology developed in collaboration with the Bass Center on Cognition, Brain, and Language, and researchers at Meta's Fundamental AI Research Lab, or FAIR, has introduced a mind-reading device that requires no brain implants. Unlike previous attempts at neural interfaces that banded invasive surgeries, this technology reads brain activity externally using advanced AI models to decode thoughts and turn them into readable text. The implications are staggering. On the one hand, this could be a revolution for people who have lost their ability to speak, like patients with ALS, stroke victims, individuals trapped in locked-in syndrome. It could be a breakthrough in accessibility, allowing people to communicate effortlessly just by thinking. Imagine composing an email, controlling a smartphone, or even con coding a program all without lifting a finger. But there's a darker t side to this. If this technology can decode thoughts, even imperfectly, where does the boundary between private and public thinking begin? Could an employer one day require neural scans during job interviews? Could law enforcement demand access to brain activity under the guise of security? And what happens when advertisers, the very backbone of Meta's business model, gain access to the raw material of human thought? The legal system has never encountered a threat like this before. We fought for digital privacy, for the right to secure our emails, our browsing history, our personal messages, but we've never thought we've had to fight for the right to keep our own thoughts private. This technology changes all of that. The new, new laws will be necessary. Strict regulations on how and when neural data can be collected, stored, and used. We will need updated Neuro Rights Charter, a legal framework that guarantees cognitive liberty, mental privacy, and protection from unauthorized decoding. Because without clear safeguards, the very concept of personal privacy could become obsolete. The road ahead is uncertain. This technology has the power to change lives for the better, but if left unchecked, it could also usher a new era of surveillance unlike anything we've seen before. So the real question is just how we use this technology, but who controls it? And how far are we willing to let it go? This has been your cybersecurity tip of the week. Everyone, please stay safe and secure until we see you next time.